Hey everyone and welcome to episode three of the Zeiss Sub MOA at One Mile Challenge where we have competitors all over the country trying to hit an 18 inch steel at 1760 yards. So if you want to check out episode three, stick around. All right, so you guys know the rules. Basically, you get five rounds, you don't get any warm-up shots, you have no assistance from spotters, your rifle has to be 338 Lapua Magnum or smaller, you can only use one rear bag, and you basically have three minutes to do it. It is not an easy task to do. We do have a couple of pro shooters here today. We're gonna to see what they can do, but I do wanna give a big shout out to all the sponsors that make this possible, uh, including Zeiss. Zeiss has come to the table just in a huge way. I can't thank them enough. And the way it works, guys, if you get a first round impact, you get two points. For each subsequent hit, you will get one point. All impacts are gonna be verified by a camera down range, so if you skip one off the ground or if you hit the target stand, it's not gonna count. Anybody that gets one impact is going to get the Allen snapshot system. Anyone that gets one impact with the fastest time will get their choice of Surefire light. This is the High Lumen, High Candela, the EDC light. And then they also, anybody that gets one impact will get a Microtech MSI. Uh, this is a great uh, folder. And for those that get two points, we'll actually get an Accutac bipod, and that's gonna be courtesy of Paramount Tactical. Those guys are dealers, authorized dealers for Accutac, and they said anybody that gets two impacts with the fastest time, or two points rather, will win an Accutac bipod. Now, if you get three points, you're gonna be walking away with the Zeiss, the S3, the 636. Guys, this is the, the scope of choice for me in all competitions and all types of shooting. It is a great, great optic but one of these lucky contestants will walk away with a set of the Zeiss, the SFL, the Smart Focus Lightweight 40 binoculars. Great choice for hunting. So without making you wait any longer, let's go ahead and introduce the contestants. All downrange footage is captured using the Zeiss Victory Harpia 95 and the Allen Digiscope system. Basically, it's just a cover cap. It's a magnetic cover for the lens cap here, and it's a case for your phone. You just put it on here, and even at a mile, guys, look at the resolution on this. This is how we capture all the footage. I know you guys at home think that it looks that close, but remember, it's one mile away. Just for reference, we're at the 1,760-yard mark from the firing line. This is the actual target here, so you guys can see this is an 18 inch circle. There are no impacts on here except one right here at the bottom. I don't have any paint. Uh, so this one right here, don't even know where it came from. It was probably from someone shooting yesterday, but that's how big the target is. It's 18 inches in diameter at one mile. All right, first up is Dwayne Russell. Dwayne, tell us about yourself and what you're shooting. Well, my name is Dwayne Russell. I'm from Glen Mary, Tennessee. Okay. Uh, shooting a CDX Kdex Patriot Light and a 300 Norma Magnum. Man, that is a nice setup. You don't see the Kdexes that often. No, it's full. It's for, it's Kdex from the rings to the bottom, even the slider. Okay. The bipods Kdex shooting uh, speed tracker, harvester bore uh, suppressor on this. Suppressor. The and this is 300 Norma. 300 Norma Magnum. Great cartridge. Very seasoned. Yeah. I should say. So is it shot out yet? It's close. Gotcha. Um, so I see you got the Zeiss S5. Got this Zeiss LRP S5, yep. Yeah, it's great optic. Um, got the you, MDT. Do you do a lot of long range shooting? Somewhat, quite so a lot. Do you shoot for somebody? Because you got a jersey on. What about everyone on the shirt. So cutting edge bullets, I assume you're shooting hand load solid coppers. I'm shooting 230 grain cutting edge lasers. Okay. Uh, Peterson brass. Okay. Shooting around 2,900 or it was. Okay. Yeah. It's kind of falling now. The is going off, but uh, that's where we're at. But the 230 laser solids shoot very well in this gun. Awesome. 20, 26 factory, 26 inch barrel. So you think you're leaving with another Zeiss scope? I don't know. We'll see. All righty. Well, good luck to you. Thank you, sir. All right. We'll see you up top. First up, Dwayne Russell.
All right, next up is Joe Jenkins. Joe, tell us a little bit about yourself and what you're shooting. Hi, my name's Joe. I'm from Robbins, Tennessee. I'm shooting okay. a 300 PRC. Terminus Zeus quick change action. Okay. 30 inch creator, 1.8 twist, Omega 300 can, uh, Mark 5, 7 by 35. Uh, BA comp chassis. Yeah, and you said this is 300 PRC. 300 PRC. So yes. I assume you do a lot of uh, long range shooting. A uh, little bit. What's your furthest shot? Furthest is 3,050 on the third shot. Yeah. How far again? 3,050. That's a poke. That's a poke. Yeah, no doubt about it. It was a 338, not with the 300. Yeah, you think you're going to do great out here today? I'll hit the dirt a couple of times. Of course, yeah. we're all going to hit the dirt. <laughs> all right, well, Joe, best of luck to you. Thank you, sir. See you up top. Get back! Good job, Jeff. Get back! Get back. Awesome! Oh, great job. Two impacts. All right, next up is Jamie Wilson. Jamie, tell us about yourself, where you're from, and what you're shooting. My name's Jamie Wilson. I'm from Brevard, North Carolina, and I'm shooting a 6.5 short action ultra mag. You uh, sound excited. Yeah. <laughs> Not really. Uh, who, who built this rifle? I built it myself, Manhole Customs. That's the name of my business. I'm a rifle builder, 07 manufacturer, SOT. Got it. So you guys might recognize Jamie. He's actually been on the channel a couple of times. He's actually local to where I live. Um, so do you think you're going to be able to hit this today? I'm going to try. I'll send right, five well, that way. It's a nice setup, especially the tangent on here. What do you think about the tangent theta scopes? Uh, really good optics. It is your favorite scope? Probably is. Awesome. Well, good luck to you. All right. Thank All you. All right. Have a good one.
All right, next up, Team Hornady. Thank this you. This is Sandra Orvig. So, uh, Sandra, have you ever done long range before? I've not. Okay, well, tell us about yourself. Tell us what you're shooting, and we're uh, excited to have you here. So, um, I'm Sandra Orvig. I'm from Charleston, South Carolina. Today, I'll be shooting a JP Enterprise um, LRP 07. Okay. A uh, Collis 5 by 25 by 56 with okay. a Skimmer 4 reticle in it. You shoot for Collis, don't you? I do. Okay, I awesome. do. Collis and Swarovski. Yes, also uh, POF USA. Nice. It's another company. And um, today we're shooting some Hornady 140 grain ELD match. You ever shot this rifle at a mile? Um, I tried it once. How did it turn out? We're going to try. All right. Well, we're good luck try. to you. Good luck. Thank you. All right. We'll see you up top. See you up there. Thanks. All right, next up is Matt Pierce. Matt, tell us about yourself where you're from. Uh, Matt Pierce from Hendersonville, North Carolina, up your way. You guys probably seen me on the channel before. Today I'll be shooting the Desert Tech SRS M2 chambered in 338 Lapua Magnum. Nice setup. 26 uh, inch barrel, Thunder Beast Ultra 338 suppressor, and then ammo. I'm shooting 300 grain uh, OTM factory Lapua ammo. Nice. So, Matt, tell us uh, what's your greatest shooting achievement? <laughs> Uh, I mean, we've been shooting a lot together. Uh, I'd probably have to say the gap grind a couple yeah. of years back with uh, Chris Simmons. We finished second overall out of 180-ish teams, roughly. Yeah, I remember that. I remember. Guys, gap grind is the largest PRS event in the world. Uh, it's usually about 400 shooters, and Matt was able to shoot that with Chris Simmons, and those guys came in second. That was some strong shooting. Well, how do you feel about your uh, chance of getting this today? We're going to try. Of course, of course. Well, good luck to you. Yes, you got some special glasses on there. What's, what's going on with that? <laughs> Misalignment with the eyes. Got it. <laughs> well, good luck. Thank you, man. That was a nick, that's an impact. Oh. Just off left. 
All right, next up is Rick Porter. Rick, tell us about yourself and what you've got here today. My name's Rick Porter. I'm originally from uh, Fort Bragg, Fayetteville, North Carolina. Currently live in York, South Carolina, where I have a training company called Turnkey Tactical Solutions. Yep. And today I'm shooting my uh, sponsor's JP Enterprise PR uh, 19 6.5 Creedmoor. Uh, another one of my sponsors is Collis. Uh, I'm shooting their a 5x25x56 with a Skimmer 4 reticle. And uh, of course, I'm shooting Hornet A ammunition since I'm sponsored by them also. And I'm shooting the 140 grain ELD match uh, Creedmoor. Um, with all these sponsors, you should kill it out there today. I do the best I can with what I got to work with, which now, is some of the best. Now, your discipline is not ELR. You're big in the three gun, correct? I'm big in the three gun, but I'll shoot anything with a trigger. I've shot with Absolutely. you before in DMR match. That's right. That's right. Um, now you also do some match directing. Don't you put on a large match every year? Uh, Sandra and I both put on matches uh, around the country. One of the largest is uh, the zombie match for yep. Hornet Day. We'll have over 500 shooters show up wow, for that match. Wow, that's impressive. And she'll run the uh, Generation 3 gun match with another 350 shooters, which is uh, all, all the money goes to junior shooters for that match. Yeah, that's a great program. So how do you think you're gonna do today? Uh, six out of five. That'd be awesome. Yeah. That'd be awesome. Well, good luck to you. We'll see you up top. All right, next up is Frank Anthony. Frank, tell us where you're from because that's an awesome rifle. Out of Oklahoma. So you flew all the way from Oklahoma to here. Yes, I did. And what are you shooting today? A gun. Okay, it's a gun. Well, for those that don't know, guys, this is the Sako M10. Uh, this is not a new rifle. They invented this about 10 years ago. Uh, I guess you know a lot about it, but I'm going to talk about it because I've been trying to get one of these on the channel. But uh, guys, this was uh, a rifle that was submitted for the SOCOM trials. Of course, they chose the Mark 22. Um, there's only a handful of these in the country at the moment. I don't even think Beretta Defense has one in stock, do they? No, no, it was hard to get this one. How did you end up with this? Uh, a lot you know of people. Yeah, yeah, a lot of convincing. Yeah, so guys, what it is, it's a multi-caliber rifle. Um, you can shoot everything from 308, 65 Creed, uh, 300 Norma, 338 Lapua Norma our 338 Lapua Magnum and I see you've got a ZCO on here. Mm -hmm. So you got you ever shot this at a mile? No I have not. All right well good luck to you today because it's going to be a tough challenge and I notice you don't have a break on here either. No I do not. It's going to be right. loud. It's going to be tough. Well good luck to you Frank. All right thanks. We'll see you.
All right, next up is Dwayne Thompson. Dwayne, tell us about yourself and what you're shooting today. Uh, like I said, my name is Dwayne Thompson and I'm from Charleston, South Carolina. I'm shooting a Remington 700 in 6.5 Creedmoor. Okay. Shooting a Nosler RDF factory match grade ammo. Okay. Uh, just getting into the sport. This is the first rifle that I built or really put together. So I'm just having a lot of fun. And the primary arms GLX? Primary arms GLX, four and a half by 27. Got it. You ever shot a mile before? I did back in uh, March. Here? Here. Awesome. Well, how do you think you're going to do today? Uh, I'm just coming out, to, coming out to have fun. Never shot the small target, so I'm hoping to get close. All right. Well, just remember, it takes over three seconds for that bullet to get there. Stay on the gun and try to get that impact. We'll do it. We'll see you. Good luck to you. Thank you. You're welcome. Just for safety reasons, do you have your dope in for the mile? Yeah. Okay. All right, so that is episode three, and previous to this episode, we only had one guy, and that was Justin Nelson, that had one impact. We can add three more people to that record now, except one of them actually got two impacts. So, what we're going to do is we're going to start off with those that got one impact, and the first one is going to be Dwayne Russell. Dwayne, congratulations. Thank you, sir. And so, because of that, and big thanks to our sponsors, big thanks to Clinton House. We couldn't do this without the help of everyone. But what Dwayne wins is actually the Allen Snapshot System. So there's one, and then he also wins a knife from Microtech Knives. And so big thanks to those companies to do that for us, and congratulations, Dwayne. Thank you, Ryan. Thank you You're for putting this on. My pleasure. Thank you. Now, next up, we actually have Matt Pierce. So Matt had one packed as well. It's a skin pack, but it still counts. Uh, but he had the fastest time. So where's Matt at? So Matt, congratulations. Thank you, Rick. You're actually going to win the uh, free snapshot system from Allen. You're going to win the Microtech knife. This is the Microtech Standard Issue MSI. And then, because he had the fastest time, Surefire came on board. Guys, this is the Turbo, the EDC-1 DFT, the dual fuel. Guys, these are high lumens and high candela. Great, great light. So big shout awesome. out to Surefire Thank and you. congratulations. Yeah, thank you. But the big winner here, we know who that is. That's going to be Joe Jenkins. <laughs> So, Joe actually had two impacts, it's the highest we've ever had on the channel. I was pulling for you, I wanted you to win that scope with three. Uh, so you do win the Allen system, you're actually going to win a knife as well, and you're also going to win an AccuTac. The AccuTac bipod is provided by Paramount Tactical, so congratulations on that. Thank you, Ray. But there's one more thing, my pleasure. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to do a random draw. One of these guys are going to be walking with, or gals, thank you for coming, Sandra. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, the Zeiss, the SFL 40s. Guys, I can't thank Zeiss enough for helping sponsor this. And so based on their shooter order, what Joe is going to do is he's going to hit randomize, and whatever number this stops on, this is who's walking away with the binos. You ready? Yep. All right, what number do you have? Six. Number six. six. That is going to be Rick Porter, correct? Correct. Yes. Rick, there you go, sir. Nice. Congratulations. Nice. You shoot for like Swarovski or something. Yeah, we're going to donate this to Sanders Generation 3 guns. Awesome. There you go. Thank and you. that is a great cause. The junior Thank shooters. You. Yeah, so guys, if you haven't heard of Generation 3 gun, they basically pay the entry fees for all the junior shooters for like 3 gun. It is a great, great gesture to get the younger kids guys we got to remember that first and foremost we do this about the camaraderie and the fellowship and having fun but it's also training what we do to the younger generation so that they can do what we do so without getting too much into that joe any advice for somebody wanting to get into elr or long range shooting i would say find a mentor somebody that can share information with you before you fall into that rabbit hole and buy good components yeah Buy once, cry once, yes, right? Yes, exactly. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed episode three. I don't know when we're going to be able to film episode four. That'll be up and coming. And we were talking about doing something uh, in the lightweight division. I hope you guys have a great week. We'll talk to you on the next one. Have a good one.